Welcome back everyone to Astian's Let's Play of Wild Arms Alter Code F on El Tyra's YouTube channel. Where we last left off, we had found Lilithia within its coffin, and with the assistance of Emma, we excavated it for the Ruins Festival. Although I think in this game it's not called the Ruins Festival, it's called something else. Regardless, we returned to Edelhide, and we're now given the opportunity to rest after our little adventure. So what we will do is go to the inn and from here we can rest. Sorry that I'm walking. I probably should change that so it's not so slow. Why is that weird? There we go. Uh, Alright, so we want a lodging. Do we have to pay? Why? That's ridiculous. We excavated Lilithia. I'm sorry, but I have to get going now. You already have a place to stay? Or do you live in this town? Uh, yes. You could say that. I didn't understand why I felt so determined to find out what the word Lilithia meant. But venturing into the room with you both gave me a feeling that... A feeling that I'm part of something. Part of a team. I really needed that. Even if we must now part ways, I'll never forget this experience. I thought the lady was listening into the background. She's like touching her heart, going, oh, that's so touching. Uh, alright. Great. I am planning to attend the exhibition tomorrow. Perhaps we will see each other. And if, by chance, we do, please do not treat me any differently. I'll be a prostitute. Pouring my wares. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why do I have such a crude sense of humor? Hmm. What was that all about? You never know. She could be a princess. Well, knock it off. You know I don't get along with those kinds of people. Excuse me, fellas. Will you be staying with us? Sorry. Oh, yes. We'll be staying here. Well, we already paid our fucking 120 gala. Seriously. The two of us and the mouse. I hate mice in hotels. I stayed at uh, a hotel in Japan once and there was mice scratching in the walls. That was really... Well, it wasn't uh, unhygienic because we didn't see the mice, but they were just annoying because I was scratching in the walls and you could hear them. She finally revealed... Oh, she's going to hug her dad. Oh, that's so nice. So lovely. The day of the exhibition is finally here. Oh, and I hope you guys liked the uh, kind of reverberation I added to my voice for the Guardians. I'm going to do that in future. So anytime the Guardians appear in the episodes, uh, I'm going to do that to my voice. Sounds awfully pompous. No, I don't want to stay again. That wanderer sitting over there at the bar helped a lot when the exhibition with the exhibition preparations. Unfortunately, he is feeling a little ill. Perhaps I can bring him a cup of chicken soup. That usually works well. Am I going to the exhibition? Um, well, I don't know. I was just there. Sorry, but I'm just exhausted from working all night making exhibition souvenirs. Kimble. I like Kindle. Product placement kitties. Do you have something there? Was that different to what you said before? Oh yeah. You are in Edelhide. There is an ancient culture exhibition today. You don't want to miss this opportunity. It should be very interesting and quite the educational experience. Oh, I like the save bird. It's so cute. Sorry, stop getting distracted. I like this music too. It's really nice. I was just talking about how much fun it would be to open up a small shop with the mayor's wife. <laughs> Maybe I'm too old for that now. I wonder if Emma's in her workshop. Oh, actually that reminds me. We can use our altar part to fix one of our bullets. And also I need to make two corrections. The first was that I said that I believe we got an item called the EX key. EX file key. 
That is not what you use to open locked doors with magic seals. To open doors that have magic seals on them, you need to use duplicators, um, which we don't have one yet, so we can't... I don't even know what that's for. We can check EX file. We'll have to look into that. And outer parts um, allow you to modify specific bullets. Well, that's not really a correction. Uh, oh, the correction is that I said that uh, in this game you get different arms, whereas that was wrong. You have the same arm for Rudy and you get different bullets that you can use in conjunction with the arm. Whereas in the original Wild Arms, Rudy got different arms or different guns, I guess you could say. Anyway, welcome, let me upgrade your arm. Dr. Emma even studies under me. <laughs> I think it's lying. So, they're called cartridges, sorry. Let's upgrade... I should use... I don't know. I was going to say I should use someone else's style of rolling a dice and picking a random thing, but I'm just going to do snap bullet, I think. I'm going to need one of your alter parts. Is that okay? There we go. So now we've got four bullets on the snap bullets and three boosted shells. Bye now. Have a safe journey. Is Emma in? Emma! Oh, she's not. Where is she? It reminds me, my cat was being weird last night. It was just... I had to throw it outside. Well, I didn't throw it, literally. But I had to put it outside because it was just being weird. It was meowing for no reason at all, even though it was fed. I tried patting him and he just didn't want that. He was just being annoying. So I'm like, okay, you can go outside. And then he sat at the door looking at me in a forlorn way. The highly praised art and science exhibition was King Justin's most earnest wish. And to see the event materialize in such a superb fashion is my greatest pleasure. Okay. We can actually go in here now. Uh... Wow, there's a lot of things to look at here. There are bundles of beautiful flowers which you rarely see these days. Inside the farm wagons are various large juicy fruits. They look yummy. Okay. There are bundles of beautiful flowers. It smells like a perfume stand. What's this? Memory figure. This machine records a traveler's memories onto a specially made card. Why do we use save birds then? Is that like a throwback to another Wild Arms game? Citizens of Edelhide should feel very privileged to be able to enjoy this exhibition for free. Why am I so irritated? Maybe it's because, in the past, ancient artifacts were only seen by privileged wanderers like me. In your cowboy hat. The exhibition seems to be leaving a strong impression on everyone, from young to old. Oh, it's Ozma. Hopefully, this event will convince His Majesty to restore Filgaia with ancient technology. Why would it be King Edelhide's prerogative to do that. Like, seriously. I am relieved to see many people enjoying the exhibition. I am happy and content. I give many thanks to our castle guardian, Zeldukes, for delivering such a delightful day. And it doesn't look like I can go over there. What's on that poster? It looks like... a Gundam. Gundam wing. Oh, there she is. Take a look around. Everyone else is fascinated with what I excavated from the ruins. No, 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 no. I'm too busy. I have to focus on my new project. Just kidding. Before I forget, I should pay you. Yes, you should. Here is 1,000 Geller. You don't need a receipt, do you? Well, if you're giving me a check, better not bounce. I will see you soon. Have fun at the exhibition. Oh my god, stop hiccuping. It is outstanding to see all these different people at this event. It shows how much effort His Majesty put into promoting it. Ooh. This fossil was an ancient weapon known as the Dragon. It is said to have been used by the demons during the Great War. Studies are still underway to try to understand how it works. Even though this artifact is old, it is a technological marvel. Far more advanced than anything we could ever make today. Small parts are taken from the Dragon fossil to power the machines and appliances that are used for daily life in Fulgaia. Is that like the altar part that I used to upgrade my arm? I cannot... Why are you named Daryl and you're a woman? I can 
not tell this to my husband because he has been running around like a kid. But it just freaks me out that giant things were discovered right around here. That giant rock. What if all those rocks have been sitting on during lunch turn out to be gravestones? I don't like it. I don't like your attitude. Do we have to pay to see the exhibition? Did you see all the artifacts? Boy, that was something. It was a crazy time. The ancient peoples were really determined about winning the war against the demons. I would only be determined if there were cute girls involved. No wonder your name's Randy. Randy Andy? I don't know. Let's go right first. I don't know. Okay, let's talk to you. Hey, hey, look. These things in the glass cases are so neat. I could stay here all day. I wish I had this at home. Sounds like my housemate, Jess. She, <laughs> she likes going to art galleries and museums and spending hours upon hours in there, whereas I just like rush through because I absorb information relatively quickly so I don't end up... I don't know, I just, I don't like to hang around. I like, I like doing things quickly. It's just me, I guess. 1,000 years ago, the Forbidden Weapon Arm was created during the Great Demon War. It is considered one of the most powerful weapons ever made, but it can only be wielded by those with a strong will. Currently, there is no one who can handle the magnitude and complexity of this particular arm. Well, bust it out of the case and I'm sure Rudy will give it a go. The Demi-Humans, or Elu, sided with humans during the Great War, and they wielded the awesome power of the Guardians. Oh, are they broken mediums? It looks like Sturdark's one's on the left there. Oh no, he's was a turtle, so it can't be. One looks like a penis. This was possible through the use of tiles like these, which are called mediums. A medium was a link to the Guardians. He who possessed a medium was blessed with the power of the Guardians. Unfortunately, these mediums are broken and have lost any such abilities. Oh, what a shame. I wonder who they belong to. Oh, that's the king. Is it? King Justin always places the good of his people before his own desires. I am proud to be ruled by such a king. At the exhibition, if you are with the king, you don't have to wait in line for anything. It definitely attracts everyone's attention too. I sometimes even hear ladies admiring my knighthood. Um, okay. Is this, is this, no, this isn't Lilithia. Lilithia look different. Land Battle Golem Diablo, also known as Roaring Metal. Much of its chest space is occupied by a fearfully powerful plasma energy emission device. This war machine excelled at close quarters combat due to its heavily fortified armor as well as its destructive revolving arm. Okay. I'm pleased to see such a turnout. There's been so much interest in this pet project of mine. Please take your time. There is much to see in the exhibition halls. over this way. Oh, what's that? This is a mock skeleton of a human. The mysterious machine-made skeletons found in the ruins show many similarities to the structures of humans. But they are different in composition. It is unknown how and why the skeletons were made. It is a mystery. It looks weird. What's this one? Ancient fossils found during the excavations are classified into two different categories. There are arms, which can only be wielded by uniting the weapon with the user's mind and will. There are also machines, devices which are made up of mechanical technologies and can be used by anyone. The fossil displayed here is a machine. Machines don't discriminate and work for anyone, unlike arms. Most modern devices used throughout Gaia today are made by copying the technology of these ancient artifacts. Arms and machines are both products of lost technologies and have been the object of countless studies. Okay. What is over this? That's Lilithia. Yeah, that's Lilithia. Particle inhibitor golem Lilithia, also known as the Frost Disaster, has the ability to freeze the molecules of enemies by controlling their electromagnetic energy. That doesn't sound safe. Most of the golem's output energy goes to its freezing capability, thus its mobility is severely limited. I'm in charge of security here at the exhibition. We're also looking for the lost child. Unfortunately, children all look the same to me. Please, will you two help us find this child? Why? Why is that my responsibility? 
Excuse me, but have you seen a boy with a red balloon? He's my son. I bought him the balloon because he was begging me for one. And while I was paying for it, he must have took off somewhere. I have now looked everywhere, but he is nowhere to be found. Please, if you see a boy with a red balloon, will you bring him back to me? No. This place is huge. This archaeological artifact seems to have crash landed into Fugaya. Onto Fugaya. A sketch recreating the fossil shows a dish-like shape and is referred to as a mystery disc among researchers. Is it a satellite? It is thought to be part of an aviation device, however, it bears no similarity to any other ancient technologies. Right. This mass contains unknown ore. It is said to be from the Sea of Stars, for it is found to contain a peculiar radiation. This might be evidence of Filgaian technology which allowed ancient humans to reach the Sea of Stars. Right. More. Wow, this one looks weird. Barbados? Ah, how did I know? Long distance bomber golem Barbados, also known as a hidden cannon. Its shoulder holds an electromagnetic long distance cannon as well as hidden gun ports. It's believed it was able to communicate with New Moon and that its cannon was an ultimate weapon that shot beams of lightning. I think it's actually a bonus boss, and there's actually a special cutscene when you fight it. Lost child? I'm sorry, but I'm in too much pain to look around. Oh, my stomach. Ugh, excuse me. A lost child? No, I have not seen him. I'll be praying for that child's safe return. Let's keep going. I think we're almost done. What? Lost kid with a red balloon? No, I'm not him. <laughs> no one's bought me a red balloon. This is preserved demon's blood. It is a type of mercury, but its structure resembles the blood of living organisms. We call this type of mercury mithril. Its density is less than that of regular mercury. Current technology cannot duplicate it. So the demons are machines. The blue crystal is called agulite. The red crystal is called germatron. What the fuck? Both are made of condensed energy and were used by the ancient alchemists. Edelheid's secret treasure, the teardrop, can also be classified as an energy crystal. Most energy crystals are now only seen represented in records, much like the Kizim fire. Oh, the Kizim fire is actually important for later. Just FYI. Oh, that's it. We got through the whole exhibition. So where's this kid? There's no games in this exhibition, actually, unlike the first Wild Arms, where you could play mini-games to get special items. And I think, actually, speaking of, you don't get uh, things like Mystic Apples and that in this game, like you could in Wild Arms. And I think I said Mystic Apples, but they're gener generically classed as apples, and they allow you to raise your different statistics. Um, you don't get anything like that, or Magic Carrots, for that example, for that matter in this game, which is a shame. But anyway, there's the guy with the balloon. What we'll do is we'll uh, end the video here, uh, which is probably a good stopping point. And when we next return, I'll stop doing that, otherwise I'll make you dizzy. We will resume with Wild Arms Ultra Code F. So thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Astian on El Tara's YouTube channel, taking you on a Let's Play of Wild Arms Ultra Code F. When we return, we will talk to little boy and see if we can take him back to his father. As always, if you've enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like, favorite, subscribe, and or share the video as it helps me out immensely. Thanks a lot, guys, and I will see you next time. Cheers.